Okay, um, I want to say hello again everybody. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, in this video here, um, I'm going to be doing something pretty good. Okay, um, first of all, let me give you a, a quick update on the game. Okay, my game, I'm making my new computer game called Vast World. Yes, we've finished all of the artwork for the game. Finally, right, we've finished it. I want to I want to say a big thank you to anybody who's watched any of the videos on that. Uh, behind the scenes me creating the artwork if you've not seen it don't worry though don't worry because it's going to be a surprise in the game a surprise to see all the artwork you know surprises um i didn't in the end i didn't bother making more videos on like the creation of certain things like i'm not obviously i'm not going to make a videos of me programming the whole game uh, I'm not going to, um, and anything like that, I'm not going to make too many videos. I will make videos talking about the game and stuff in future. A few things here or there, maybe a few little bits and pieces. <clears throat> like when it's finally done and stuff, I'll give like, um, you know, a little bit of a talk on it, maybe a short one. But um, I won't be making video. I, I didn't make any videos. I did, didn't make any videos about the music, the production of the music. Um, I'll have you know, there's not a lot of tracks, but there's music. Okay, for the game, there's four tracks. Okay, four tracks I've made for the game. Um, so music. Okay, in the game, the atmospheric type music. I, I think I'm pretty happy with them. I done them last night. I also did another piece of art, which was the um, title screen for the game. And I, I'm not showing you that yet. It's just like a surprise also for you, okay? So all that's going to be a surprise. I'm not going to give you any plot spoilers in the story of what's going to happen and everything. Uh, any more information about the characters that are in the game. There's a fair amount of characters, isn't there? Uh, you know, seen, but um, whatever, yeah, and that, you know, yeah. so it's going to be a first-person type game. You're playing it through your own eyes, like you, the eyes of the player, and you're going around this world and uh, interacting with characters and stuff, you know. Um, it's a small game per se, uh, small and rough. Please excuse me, I've got like some goddamn chicken stuck in my goddamn teeth there. The brush those two tombstones. <laughs> I want to just say, you know, <clears throat> yeah, um, hope you guys are doing okay. It means a lot you watch, you know, stuff I do, my videos, my creation, and stuff. Um, I want to say uh, to you now, um, yeah, so it's all compile. I need to start compiling and programming the game, okay? This is a very simple game, um, Vast World, and it's going to be available for the PC free to download. Um, but the next step is going to be the programming. Now, I'll, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be showing you all the programming, but what I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to show you a couple of things here, okay. Um, first of all, um, I'm, I'm go what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the software that I'm using, and it's a RenPy, okay, so bear with me. Uh, this is the software here. When, it, when you download it, it should look like this. I'm using this version of it here. It's like a more newer version to the one I used to have, but it's 7.1.1. Um, <laughs> so this is it, RenPy, R-E-N-P-Y. <coughs> well, you know, yeah. some, people, some people call it RenP. I, I, I hate it when people say that, but whatever, you know, RenPy. And um, yeah, so you just, this is the software, um, this is a shortcut to the software I've got stored on another drive of my computer, but this is the software. When you open it up, this is what it looks like. I'm going to give you a little brief introduction to this, and there's no music in this video, I'm just going to show you this software, okay? Um, before I do, before we get into this anymore, okay, this is the software, when it opens up, it says here, RenPy Launcher. When you first have it, okay, when you first get it lo loaded up, don't get confused when you see this, don't get nervous. And again, with the coding, don't get too li too nervous either. It says, um, tutorial, and then it's got another thing called the question. I'll show you these very, very briefly. I'll show you these very, very briefly, okay? Um, yeah, very briefly, I'll show you these, okay? But, uh... Let me just show you something, okay, what this, look, look up here, what's that up the top, can you see this red here, when I go, when I hover over it, vast world, Be before I even started making this game, I had this plan, this rough idea for a, a game called Ra Vast World, and um, I was just basically just jumping in and like, trying to re review, like for myself, like recover, my memory of such on some of the programming that is done in this software because it was like I've done games in this before but it's been like a long time since I have I've done any um 
Yeah, um, well, let's just look at this interface first of this Renpai launcher, right? Um, this is very, as I say, when you get this software, you just literally put it on your computer and it's like, you know, it's ready to go, right? Let me, let me just uh, stop and start the camera just quickly. I have to, I have to keep stopping and starting the, the um, screen, screen recorder because it does that every nine minutes, you've got to do that. Okay, so I'll just stop the camera sometimes just, just to get, just to help myself get through this. But let's look again, okay, whatever, and that, yeah, so basically this is the launcher for the Venpi software. When it opens up, before you make any new projects, like it says down here, if you look down here, it says create a new project, you see here at the bottom. Okay, and then obviously if I was to go, if I was to click on one, any of these, okay, the question, what the question is, the question is actually a game that they've made, just to show you what is capable, what you're capable of doing. It's a very short game, it's a silly little boring love story type game. But um, the tutorial is great. The tutorial is also like a game with all the features, more or less, of of what you'd be doing in a game. Both of these are actually games in themselves, as such. But tutorial is literally you've got this main character. I've totally forgotten her name now. We'll we'll find out again in a moment. The main character, the same one who is on the logo on the sort on the icon here, this pink icon here. This is the main character. Okay, I forgot her name now, but. She's like the main character of this thing that the, that the makers have given, you know, like Mario for Mario for Nintendo, you know. But anyway, um, she takes you through. It's a tutorial, and it's got like lists of different things: how to add music, how to add images, how to type dialogue, how to make menus where the player chooses. And it's very straightforward. It's like fun. It's got music and stuff, and she just shows you very simply how to put in the basic coding and where to put the files or whatever and how to make it and it's really great that that's there I think because it's just every time you f you're worried about it and you forget something you just go straight back in and you just go to the things you want directly and it's just so easy to find it's much more fun than reading through loads of small text in the, some goddamn file you know what I mean Anyway, so you just click on any of these, or your or your one of your projects. Your projects that you make will be made will make will be listed at the top here. And these are not the actually fully distributed, as in saved game files. They are just within this software. So when okay, the thing is like this. Okay, let's just look at this. Okay, you can click on any of these. Um, I don't know if double clicking it will open it or not. I don't think so, but. Uh, whenever you want to make a new project you go to the bottom here and click create new project when you go to the right hand side over here at the bottom you can see launch project so if I click on any of these here on the left and then go to launch project it will start that project just you know it will open it up and you can play it like run it test it as such you know what I mean um, now um, let's just check something else I want to show you okay um, on this here, on the open, look here where it says tutorial, uh, or because that's the one that's chosen, it could be any of these. Mate, you just choose the one you want first of all, okay. And then if I wanted to edit the script, okay, here's an edit file, it says over here. These are the ones you're going to be looking at mostly, okay. You're going to be looking at script. So you'd click on that, I think it's click once or twice, and it'll open up. And that is where you put all of your coding in, and the coding will look like something like this okay this is the coding I've put my text big because it's better on my eyes and I've typed all this it's not a lot at all you know and that's what we've got so far for our uh, fast world coding but anyway don't get nervous looking at that okay um, it's pretty easy to learn very very fairly very easy to learn I would say um, and memorize too but anyway that's script okay so under edit file over here you click on your project you want to edit the script of the script meaning how the game plays anytime there's a mistake it will tell you more or less brief brief but kind of clear enough it will tell you what what line for example there's a mistake in the coding for example you see the lines here like one two three four five six going down the page here if there's a mistake on one of the things such as like one of these words is missing a colon dot dot or a speech mark or something like that um, it will tell, it will say that. A missed problem and unable to execute game and missed, was it, um, error, 
error with line 12 it will, and it will show what part of that it is just basically sometimes it can be confusing but you'll work it out but a lot of the time it's, it's not too hard now um so that's the main thing you're going to be looking at okay the script now what about the, what about your other stuff here's something fun i'm not going to look at this thing called base here or the gui but i'm going to look at the um gui meaning like the interface but what we can do is you can change things like the images in the game that you're going to be using and the sound right so the sounds be you know um whatever they are i think it works with mp3 or whatever um um, and different that ones. I'll just have a look at what we've got in here for my test. Like, because this was originally just a test thing anyway, rough thing. It was anyway. So when I first started out with this vast world idea, I thought, okay, let me just recap on that. How to put in basic text. How to put in um, a menu like for the player to make choices, and how to put my images and my sounds in the game. That's all I care about, right? So. Let's click on this open directory and look at what we've got in the game so far. Uh, open directory, click on game. Okay, just click on game. It says game there. Okay, you'll see it says game. Uh, we're going to go right down, and you'll notice that there's a file, and it's an MP3. It's an MP3 file. Let's make that large so we can see better. It's an MP3 file there. Can you see? And it says track. I've just called it track. Here it is. This one, MP3, and it says track. All that is is a music track that I put for the game as a test. You can have lots and lots of MP3s if you want. The more files you have in here, the more bigger a game it's going to be. And you can have videos in there. I forgot to mention too. You can have videos in the game too. So animation and stuff. Remember, they're visual novel type games. So they're not like fully 3D and all that. I mean, you can do that stuff, something like that with a copper cube, things like that. It's a good software, Copper Cube. We'll look at that some more in, in the future too. But I like both of these softwares. This is Renpy, and it's for those kind of visual novel games. They're like books, really. You could just make it like a book where someone clicks on the page, they go to the next page, and the story plays through like that. But the thing is, it's like with this, it's like um, you can have menus, you know, and choices. So there's a question asked to the player or something. The player has to make a decision what they're going to say, where they're going to go, whatever. And when you make a certain choice, it will take you to another part of the game. And I think I covered this before in another video where I was saying that it will take you to different labels, basically. They're called labels. If you look here on the on the thing, okay, can you see this word label here? It says label. Okay, label, start. And we have these labels all the way down here. If you go down, like you see it says scene. Like it says, label start. So let's let's look at let's look at this first before we start. Okay. Um, okay. B before we look at this, I'm going to just show you the images. Okay. Look, this is an image we've got here. Uh, I'll show you. Look. So we've got game. If we click on game, that will open up open up a folder which I've just shown you. If I go here, okay, and it, we've got our music track just in here. Remember, okay, the sound tracks need to the music like MP3 is okay. They go in here. Okay, in under game, just put them there and name them accordingly. But but for the images, you just go to images here. You have to be they have to be in images, okay. And um, I just made this image myself. It's just a look at that. That's just what the heck is that? You know, it's a messy picture. But I just made this, scribbled something in just to put just to put something in. You know, that's the only reason I did this. So I thought I'd have a have a scene show up, you know. And this the name of this image is Open World Center. And it, that's what it was going to be called originally, but you know. So if you look on here, you can see that here on this. This is the script, don't forget. And the way to get to the script is like I say, once you've opened up the Renpy launcher, you go here and it says script on the right. Here, script, okay. This will open up. Now um I don't know why I've got two open here. Okay. Okay, good. Um, yeah, anyway, though, so you know, make sure you're editing the right script for the right game to make sure you've clicked the right one. Like, click on the right one here on the left, you know, and then go to script or game or images. So, you're only looking at those three things, okay? Game is where you're going to put your sounds into in the file, just straight in that folder. They're folders basically. Images where you'll put your images, and then script is where you'll um, do your script. I think the video files also go into the game file where where are the sound files go okay now let's look at this just briefly okay what do we have 
Um, I did actually have some like images set up here. I've actually taken some images myself of this screen, like um, screen shots, just to show you this way, like to take you through it. I thought that'd be a good way to take you through it, you know. But I um, mean, it's okay. I've got them here too, you know. <laughs> but I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll just show you in, in within the actual thing here. So the first thing you want to do is go to define, right? It's define, and then you put anything for the name of the character, something short. Like if someone's got a really long name, a character in the game, you don't want to have like to type it up every time. So define, and then we're, we're defining characters basically. So you have to have this here. You go define, define, and then put something in, and then go equals character, and then in brackets with no space after the after the after the word character. Uh, in brackets and in punc um, punctuation uh, speech marks you put who it is so you or the gate master for example there was going to be a character originally I was going to have it like a much bigger game it was the, the open world you know center and you was going to have this person called the gate master and there was going to be different gates where you choose to go through which different gates to go through di different parts of the game but anyway but it's different now but anyway that was my idea then what happens is, is you got label start. Now the start of the game is where it starts. This is this is this is the absolute start of all of the um, uh, scripting for the game. So I've just defined some characters there, names basically for characters. Um, these characters don't even exist anymore, <laughs> you know. So um, we're going to have to change and add like different characters in anyway, because the only one that does exist is is you. But uh, we're not going to have you like speaking on the screen and such, so we don't need to have. You're going to have just choices you choose, like of what you're going to say and what you're going to do. But um, yeah, anyone that's speaking though, you want their, their name may show up on the screen, you know, beside whoever's talking. But let's just look at this here, as I say. Okay, and that, that, that yeah. So, uh, yeah. So label start. Okay, label start. As I start again, the label is the point in the game. A point, not as in a place, but a point in time, space, whatever. But it's like a virtual point, a specific location, a point in the game, in the scripting of the game, and how things play out. Yeah, and you do as it basically is not a point like where you are, but so label, okay, start, start of the game, okay, colon dot dot there, scene. You need to type in scene whenever you want an image to show up on the screen. You type scene. And then you must type just the image name. You don't need to type in anything else apparently. Um, and it will read it will read this exactly how it is. I'm, I'm pretty sure the short small font um, capitals or, or small type are, the, are both. Um, you need to get it right, you know. Also, but it's quite important. But but um, yeah, you'll see what I mean. So that image is that name. You see this name here. This is my image of this image here. See, and it's called Open World Center. And it has to be typed the same as it is. Obviously, the same with the music. And here we hit the next thing. Here is play music. And for this, you need to type. You have to have. Um, you have to have um, uh, speech marks, quotations, whatever. Quotations the same as you would do with um, any text that you want to show on the screen. So the first thing I've got here is uh, label start scene and the name of the of, of the image you want shown on the screen. That particular image we just had is a JPEG. Not too sure. Um, all of the images that I've actually saved. Um, for our, our game, Vast World, which is going to be this, we're going to make it currently they're all PNGs because I'm used to saving things in PNG anyway. So, so yeah, I think it's going to still work though, we're going to give it a try, you know what I mean? <laughs> mm, if not, if they don't work, then I'll just convert them all. I'm going to have to just convert them all, you know. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to go here, and um, it's not too many, but you know. Yeah, but then we've got play music and then it's an mp3 track so you've got the name of the track and this track is just called track i just typed in track to be lazy but you'd have the name of the song followed by dot mp3 you must do that and that's in um speech bub speech marks okay um quotation marks the open world center this um name of your image does not have to have quotation marks apparently 
Now the next line going down, again, a new set of quotation marks, okay, speech marks. Um, it's, um, this is text that's going to be on the screen. It's not a scene and it's not uh, an image, basically. It's not a video and it's not a piece of music. It's just text that's going to show on the screen. This will not appear on the screen if you do not have speech marks, okay, quotation marks. So you must have that. And it's nobody who's saying it. It's just text that, that, that appears on the game. So like a voice within the game telling you, like, the narrator or whatever okay however you want to imagine it or use it and interpret it and express it in your games but the thing is okay um if you want it to be very clear like who is saying what uh, yeah then basically that yeah you're gonna have to have it like this you're gonna have to um have the name of the character so we've done that at the top here we've had that like define we were defining characters as it says here just typed exactly how it is can define then an abbreviated thing so i've just given it one letter y for you and g for gate master you know, equals character no space uh, uh brackets followed by a quotation marks speech marks you know you and then game master for game master um, so what you do is because we this we're going down on this line here on this one where it says open world center that's just text on the screen telling you where you're at in this location and um okay now what you'd have next that could be someone speaking so if it was going if it was someone speaking i'd put the name before it name and then i'd then i would put that pretty sure that's how it works unless it's um um, a colon and then that we'll, we'll, we'll check it out maybe we can find out in the thing anyway um but yeah let's try different things um now i want to say um it will say sometimes expect expected colon or expected um speech marks or whatever you know if it's a mistake um so that could be a question for example are you hungry or da, 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 you know, are you hungry yes or no and then you'd go down, then you'd have this here. You've got to be all lined up properly. You just press enter key on the keyboard. It's just menu, okay. Then colon, colon, dot, dot, just the two dots, normal one. Menu, and whenever there's a menu, it, basically the next thing to follow the text would be two options. So they would have yes or no. I've, I've typed that in just to be simple. It could be anything. It could be ice cream or hamburger, okay. It doesn't really matter what it is, okay. Hold on one second. You know, it could be what what this this text here could be a question. It could be what do you what do you want to eat? And then we can have a menu literally with like lots of different foods. Or which weapon do you want to take into the forest? Sword, gun, or whatever, you know. And then you go you know, under this menu here you'd have just the green ones, okay, show the green ones. They'll show the options that will be available on the screen to the player. And when the player makes a choice and chooses one of them with the mouse or the arrows and clicks on it it's going to take the player to a certain part of the game uh, a part of the game and you know what that means like i just said earlier a label as in a point in the game it could yeah it's a location somewhere it could be a desert it could be a forest yeah it is a certain time or whatever but we're not talking about it we're talking about the script the label is the point in the game in all of this that's where it is and that's when it happens and what follow and a label like i've said before is like a bag of 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 stuff or it's like a, a room full of stuff and you go to in the hotel room number one room number 44 whatever you know and you just knock on that door open it and go in and there's loads of stuff and the stuff that's in there could be not really i'm just giving you an example here everything or the text the images the sounds the video whatever and whenever whenever you want to go to another part of the game mo for the most part you type in jump like this and that's going to jump the player to another part of the game which is not within within this chapter so to speak this um label which is basically a group of stuff a bunch of stuff that follows that the label is that the point from which this stuff starts and uh, this first label is actually called start so we've got, I've given I've created two different labels uh, we've got label A and label B you see the A here and the B here so if the player chooses yes he's going to go to A if the player chooses B 
if, if the player chooses no, he's going to go to he's going to be jumped to B. And what that means is they're going to go to a label. So that if if player chooses yes here, he's going to be jumped automatically to label A. And here it is, just below. And stop music. So whenever you want the music to stop, you just type in stop music, whatever music, because otherwise that music will continue playing right from earlier on when we started it. I think it loops too, which is a good thing if it does. If we want that. Uh, yeah, and you can stop it whenever you want. Um, by you know in, in the scripting you make it like that but, uh, yeah and then so I just typed in uh, please excuse me for, for fun I just typed in some just rough words here so fuck no reason why I was just being silly but the fuck in quotation marks whenever you close the quotation marks the speech marks that speech stops so when the player presses a button whatever follows follows so there'll be like more text in this case so now the word what will appear on the screen uh, and then when the player presses the button again, it's going to go to this one, which is, uh, are you hungry? Followed by another menu, which is for all this stuff is under this label A, okay? Which we got to, we arrived at this doorway, so to speak, at label A, which is a room full of stuff, all this stuff below it. Uh, by previously when we had the other menu, and it asked us a question, let's say for example, um, by choosing one of these green answers it's going to just take you to wherever so jump it could be other stuff you could have more images and stuff and before we before it actually does jump you there um pretty sure how that's uh, uh I, I think you do need to automatically jump first there but you go so menu means like choose a jump via clicking on one of these green things and the jump is just a like a bus that's going to go to either label one a new another label basically it's going to take you there your menu is like asking you okay which key do you want to pick up this key or that key which is obviously for each one's for a door a eh? so jump is for label if you get what i'm trying to say yeah now if you go down here, um, that's another label, so when he asks, uh, are you hungry, and then you say, yes, I'm hungry, jump to, yes, I'm hungry, now I've typed this in here, um, no colons on them, by the way, after jump, there's no colon, dot, dot, okay, only colons after the choices you've made in the green there, notice that here, see, but you're going, if you don't understand what I'm saying, watch this again, but uh, if you see here, um, I've typed it in with no spaces, so yes, I'm hungry. I don't know if that's important or not, to be honest with you, with the jumps, but I think it's important when you keep it all as one thing. As in the label name must have no spaces. I'm not too sure on that, I'm pretty sure. Once you're actually going into a label, like when a label starts, when you're on a label and you're going into that part of the game, um, when the label starts, it will say label at that point, then the name will be in yellow. And then colon dot dot. Okay, you must have that from which everything follows uh, the information. So, for example, yes, I'm hungry. We've got colon, and then we've got more text appear on the screen now. This is the only thing that's in this. Well, okay, eat this. And speech marks and quotation marks. And it says here, um, return. Now, whenever you see return, that means it's going to take you to the end. It's the end of the game. So, it will take you back to the start of the whole game, basically. In our case, the, the title screen. We're going to have a title screen in our game, you know. Um, now, before before we, you get there, you can have more images, or you can have like a video clip, like the ending of the game, or something before that, you know. Anyway, look down here. What do we have? That we have more, right? Label B, because don't forget, up above there, we had another choice, didn't we, earlier on in the game? Where it says label B, you see. Uh, no, it says um, jump to B, see, which is a label, if the if the player makes a choice there. So you get there, and then it just says shit on the screen, <laughs> and then we go to return. It's a very, very simple game. Now, I'm seeing that. Me taking you through this, I don't know how clear this has been for you. But um, that's basically how you'd set up a game. Good enough, like.
Um, I've made a few games like this before, and um, you, it's just it's just a case of planning and grouping everything where everything goes and where they are. So I'm going to put all the images of my game into this now. I'm going to clean this this shit up. I'm going to clean up this. I'm going to keep. I've got pictures. I've got images of this stored. So in the future, I'll, if I need to go and check this again, I can check this. Plus, I can watch my video back. Uh, you know, it's all here. See. You know, just reminding me how to write basic script when making uh, Renpy games. So, yeah, okay, so now I'm just going to quickly uh, put this down. What I'm going to do, hold on while I restart the camera, I'll restart the screen recording. Yeah, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you through this Renpy. Um, I'm going to just open up Renpy and show you a game. Now I'm going to show you my game first. Give Vast World the rough plan one, based which is basically this script here. What you're looking at with the image that I put in and, and the music. Don't forget. I'll turn the volume down slightly on the sound so you can hear me talking too. Um, hopefully this will still play. I don't know how well the sound's going to play for you here, but uh, we'll we'll see. Okay. So I'm going to click on that vast world and we're going to go to launch project. And this is the game. So I'm making it a bit smaller if it will allow me to. Ah, is it going to allow me to do that? This is, oh, it's not allowing me to do it, but this is the game, okay guys. This is the actual game. Sorry, I don't know how well this is showing up on the screen, but this is the game. Title screen, there's nothing there, just vast world. I didn't put an image in. Um, you've got preferences like options and stuff here for the game. But let's just start the game, okay? I'm going to start the game. Okay, we've got the sound up pretty good. So I'll put this spooky music in. <laughs> and look what it says this is the image on the screen. And it says open world center, like we typed in, okay, in the script up here. See, open world center, okay, in the making, so behind the scenes. If I click my mouse now anywhere, it's just giving me um, yes and no. There was no question before it because I didn't type in a question do you want to go to the toilet or do you want to kick some ass? But you could have typed the question. So if I click yes, it says fuck at the bottom of the screen for some reason, damn me. I press again. Now it says what? Now I press again. And it says are you hungry? Question, are you hungry? Now, then a menu comes up, but there's only one choice to click on. So, yes, I'm hungry. And now it says, well, okay, eat this. Now I click. And it takes me back to the start of the game. Let's try again. Pressing start. The music has started click anywhere click no it says shit click again and it takes it to the start of the game so obviously yes is a more interesting game <laughs> if I go to start again you've got the option to save and load to and stuff I press uh, if I to click again you can use the mouse by the way and the, uh, the, the keyboard and the arrows too by the way to choose options if I use my arrows here I can choose and then just press enter or I think any button I think or the keyboard Oh, so hold on, no, 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 hold on, hold on. I've just taken a screenshot by accident by pressing spacebar. Okay, press enter. Okay, I'm going to click on uh, yes. And the music stops. It says, fuck. What? Are you hungry? Okay, uh, go to it and then go, yes. Yes, oh, well, okay, eat this. Click. Okay, so you know that's a very simple game right? and as I say with the music stopping and starting we worked that ourselves like play music followed by this you're gonna to have to find yourself keep going back for reference for this going back checking this to remind yourself how to do some things you get confused so I've noticed anyway um, yeah now play music see and then you go down this is the script here don't forget you see where it says stop music stop uh, let's say that Stop your here, see. Stop music. So you got play music, stop music, and you only add the name of the track in speech bubble in speech marks 
quotation marks followed the title name followed by dot mp3 or whatever format is that you're with um, you only add the name after play music you don't need to have it after stop music the quotation marks speech marks are only for things shown on the screen anything to follow something like quote um, colon here dot dot for something that's going to happen an action as such such as jump to and then this being a location here and a label a and then we've got a label a under here labels are the points in the game um, just quick review here quick recap uh, you got start for the start of the game we've got return to go back to the start when you've at the end I think for labels point we have the name with no quotation marks but there's no spaces either and it, it follows by, with a colon dot dot um, anything else uh, your scene for images okay to show on the screen and then you just type in name, the name of it exactly how it is you don't need to type in it um, JPEG or a PNG or anything like that and that's basically what we got there now what I'm going to do before we go I'm going to turn off my game this game as I say this is just within the thing let me just show you something else now quickly once I'm in here okay now, um, if I want to build distributions you click here build distributions and what that will do is all that will ask you what do you want to do now you want to really export the real game and save it as a game if currently it's just within the software that's all it is, just a program script thing. But if you want to save the actual game as a separate file, you can get rid of this script anyway later on. But it's like, you can save it as a game, as a, a Windows or whatever, and export it. And when you do, you'll have a game, you know, that you can just download on the computer. And when you download the file, by the way, the game, it's very simple. You don't need to install anything. I'm saying an actual game. Let's say I make this game and I share the link with you, like any of my games. You just need to download it. It may be a raw file or, or zip or something. Use 7-zip or something to un to extract it. It's very easy. Or another way. And, you and they open it up and just double click the little thing. There'll be like a little icon which looks like similar to this little pink girl here. The character. I'm going to see her in a moment. And uh, you know. And then um, that'll be the game. And the name of it will be the title of my game obviously. Whatever it is now. Um, and you just um, double click it and it opens up you don't need to um, install games or anything you know so I'm, I'm happy I'm making this video for you guys actually because it's like taking you through the, the thing you know um, okay so now I'm going to show you a little bit about what they've got on there I'm going to show you the thing the question I'm not going to play the game properly but I'm going to show you basically and the tutorial okay so let, let's look at the Renpy tutorial just quickly Renpy tutorial and go to launch project to show you what it's all about. So this is it. The different um, versions of this may have different images, but click on start. And this is the main character. This is her, and she'll take you through the game. Eileen, <laughs> my nan. Okay, my grandmother's name was Eileen. Wonderful lady. Um, and I've got this music playing. You know. Um, and basically you just you click here and she like takes you through the game and you just ta you go through the different parts let's see how to add music and sound effects you know the choices and that um, writing dialogue adding images positioning images layer ex player experience different things you see video playback and you've got a lot of things in here too other stuff too like customize uh, customization of a GUI wow Mini games, quite a lot of stuff, you know. Um, there's certain things I don't even know about. They've got text and stuff in depth that takes you through. You want to change the way the text is displayed, for example. So it tells you how to do it, literally. Hold on. A link to a website or jump to a label. Now, it's pretty cool. I didn't even know you could do this. So. Wow, man, that's, that's cool, man. So, a text tag can be at. Da -da -da -da. How the hell does that work? It's quite fascinating. Okay, let's have a look. We've already seen it. The um, da -da -da -da, but a lot more. Uh, I'll show you. Da -da -da. Okay, so how the hell does that work? Let's go back. 
Well, this is fascinating. Let's check it out again, okay. Let's just go back and check it again. So what does this say? She says, sometimes when display showing text, we'll want to change the way some of the text is displayed. Yeah. Okay. For example, we might want it to do there. I like that. That's what that's for. Okay. Text tags are contained in braces like... Hmm. Above. When a text tag... Da, 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 da. Let's just look how they're doing it anyway. Okay. The A text tag can link to a website. Let's check it out again. Hang on, where is it? The A text tag can. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, now I see because I can see where the. Hmm. Well, the speech bubbles. Let me just check this out. What does it say? The A text tag can and then you got this here brackets oh it's, that's what they mean a okay a equals and then you got the the link there to the thing brackets and then it says link to a website and that is basically the text we're looking at here. This is the name for it. Um, what's this one here? Forward slash A. It's quite confusing, yeah. Forward slash A. Hang on. Uh, or. Okay. Or A equals jump colon at the colon a label what? a underscore label jump to a label I'm just saying I think that's pretty fascinating you know what I mean how they can do that but mind you, you don't, need, you don't really need to do that because I can just make menus anyway. A menu, you could use a menu, and every menu will have jump, and you go to each label. But I just find that fascinating anyway. Sorry to ramble. Alpha text, uh, color text. I want to know how to change the size of the text. What I want to know. You can learn all this stuff from in here. See, the font. Hold on. Where's the size of the font? So all this stuff needs to be learned. Oh, here we go, here we go. Size. So you can, you, yeah, you can basically adjust the size of the text, okay? It can make text size. Okay, the size tag changes the size of the text. It can make text brackets size. Okay, let's check it out. It can make text from bigger. I can see how they're doing that. So you see, you learn one from one thing to the next. Thing. Okay, uh, V space to the vertical space between lines. Okay. That's basically it, I think. Mm. Okay, I think that's basically it. We're not gonna. Oh, I see what they're saying. The different parts of the text you see that can appear at different times. But you know what? I don't even need to do that. You know? So let's go back, let's get it out of this. It's a lot of stuff there, but if you go up here, see, you can see a lot of things like video playback. Just show you this quickly. You can play videos. Sorry again. Ah, sorry again, again. So image launch. You, you, you have to follow these, just follow this in here, and it will tell you how to do it, okay? See? How to play videos within the software. So within, within your game, you can have videos playing in the background like this. It's pretty good, you know. And another way of doing it is like this. Two different ways of doing it. I like to do it this way, like full screen. So you can have animation or whatever you want to have. You, you could make a game using photos and vid videos if you wanted to do that. You know what I mean? You don't have to like do drawing. I mean, here, the characters are drawn, but look at the photos here in the background, you see. Oh. 
building distributions. What else you got here? See transition, positioning images, all this stuff here. I'm not going to take you through everything, but I'm going to close that down. Which is great to have. Let's show you one of their games they've got on here. The question. Just briefly, just briefly, okay. See ya. It's one of the little games that they've made this game. <laughs> it's so funny. It looks like uh, this is so funny. It really is because it looks like a cartoon. It looks like it looks like um, somewhere that um, I used to work <laughs> years ago. So I've worked in colleges and stuff, and universities teaching and stuff. You know. I swear to God, man, it's not just. This is like. These are not even drawings. Some of them are drawings, but some of them I swear they're photos that they've just made to look like draw drawings of effects on. See, questions. So you'd read through it, and you can have voices talking as well if you wanted to. And apparently, you can make games for the. Uh, you can make games for the um, phone as well. But, you know, let's just get off this quickly. Get out of this quickly. But yeah, let's just go back to that tutorial. I want to just check about building distributions because I want to find out about Android. I know it's pretty easy to go to build distributions here, bottom right, and you can when you want to save your game, like I make it for Windows and stuff. But I've had difficulty with the Android one, um, you know. So I wanted, I don't know. Oh no, I pressed the wrong. Oh no, I didn't start. Okay. Okay, go down here, gonna go to see if you just look at images just really quickly, see look how they add the images. See that the images how they're adding, see? But if I just go to uh, Ah Ooh. Okay, let's go to um where that was build oh, here it is. Build distributions. See now it's gonna tell you, see that can ask for what you want to do. So what you can't do? Oh, here you are. Renpy supports the mobile platforms, Android and iOS. Uh, we also support Chrome, da, da, da. though through its ability to run out apps. Okay. These mobile platforms can be a bit more complicated. While Android apps can be built every. Okay, please, please excuse me. The thing just cut out. But yeah, it's just basically saying that they can be built. You know, um, mobile mobile platforms might also require you to change your visual novel a little, uh, whatever you know. Rather than uh, cover the mo cover mobile here, I'll point you to the Android and iOS documentation where you can read more. Oh no, man! What? Oh no, man! I click here, it's just going to take me online, man. And it, every time you go online, you just can't find anything. <laughs> it's like, because they don't have the same thing. Uh, whatever, anyway, let's just see what they got. So, this is the website, anyway, okay? www.renpi.org. RG, and you go here, see. You know. But yeah, it's just some Android here, look. 100%. Hang on. Because I've downloaded this stuff, it doesn't even work now. Yeah, I'm part of it, I'm Real strange, man. Real, real strange. Cause some of the libraries used by RAP, RAPT are licensed. Da -da 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 -da. You'll need to comply. Da -da -da -da. I don't even know. But I'm not bothering with Android for now. Yeah, I'm going to le still leave it then. I'm working mainly for PC games, alright, for this. As I say, also, I want to say to you really quickly, um, it seems to be more simple and easier to do games uh, for Android or PC, PC or Android, on the um, on um, Copper Cube, another software where you can do some 3D and that too, and like different things. But uh, I'll, I'll be looking at that and showing you that in future too, okay? But um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video anyway, and um, we're going to start with this game now. I'm going to just start putting it together. I'm going to put all the images 
what I've shown you me painting and drawing I'm going to put them all into this and get rid of the shit that's already in this start putting together vast worlds so hopefully it'll be ready for you guys very soon then I've got some more animation videos I've got more martial art videos coming up more music more cartoons art loads of stuff okay drawing painting uh, comics animation loads of stuff coming up thank you so much for watching I want to do some writing too do some books yeah man thanks for watching yeah take care stay creative stay, I hope you enjoy the game and you can try it as I say um, as I say um, you just take care now and thank you so much for watching okay take care and thanks a lot stay creative <laughs>